Hi, I'm Aaron, Service Manager, Curtis Trailers in Portland. Today I'm going to show you how to pair your phone with the in-command system. So first off, you're going to uh, put your phone into, uh, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Open up your Bluetooth connections. You're going to want to unlock the screen. This one, the default password is all zeros. Go into settings, Bluetooth, and then pairing. And it will start scanning for devices. On your phone, you're going to want to click pair new device. And then you will wait and you will find that it will pull up the device name, which is listed on the screen in the bottom left hand corner. Can take a second for it to pull up. Might have to hit scan again. So it shows up there. Hit pair. And then it should come up on your phone as well, asking you to confirm if you want to pair with that device. Also hit pair again on the screen. And now it shows up as a paired device. You want to pair your phone with the device prior to downloading the app. Now that we're paired, I'm going to go ahead and download the app through the Play Store, which is called In Command. If you just type in In Command in search, it will come up. There are a few different options. This is going to be dependent on which uh, version of In Command that you have. This one is the Global Connect, and you can notice that by the G that's in the bottom corner here. That one is going to work with this top one that has these three gears. So I'm going to download that app. As soon as it finishes downloading, I'm going to open it. It's going to ask you to go through and confirm some permissions. And then it's going to ask you to create a new password. I always match the password on the phone with what is on the screen. In this case is all zeros. The first time you go to connect, it's not going to connect. So you need to back out of the app, then go in, find the app again, open it. Now it's asking you to enter your password. It's going to ask you to accept some more permissions. Go ahead and accept those and then close out of that and go back into the app again. Put in your password. Allow the permissions it's asking you to accept. When it first shows up, it's going to have more options than your trailer has. So we need to synchronize the phone with the in-command screen. To do that, you need to hit settings, floor plan, RV sync. Once it's gone through synchronizing the floor plan with your RV, the options that are listed on your phone match your particular trailer. All you need to do from here is make sure your Bluetooth is turned on, open the app, and then it will work from there. Mm -hmm.